What's that on? Well, see, then got them little screws back there, and them screws will strip out and make it hard to get the get the caps off. Yeah. That right there, you just put a wrench on it, and just swing it right off. And two, that makes it look fancy. See, they were trying to sell them, trying to get started selling them. Yeah. That right there, it, that, and uh, this one's got the adjustable front axle on it too. Some of them didn't come with one. No, that's extra, you had it, and he paid extra for that, whoever bought it new. See, I had to put a new belt on it. See, the belt belt shredded, so I got my new one. Oh. Well, that belt that was on it to start with looked like it was factory. Mm. It's kind of old. I think the one, I think the drive belt that goes from the fan belt, I think that is factory, because it's got the old John Deere writing on it. It was shred one day. Oh, yeah. off that other old tractor. No, this is the new ones I made. Oh, that's the ones you made? Mm-hmm. I know. Dang, you ain't getting fancy. Yeah. <laughs> Mercy. And I need to put it, I need to, sometime or another, I need to put another switch on it, because that one right there is really hard to pull to get it yeah. to the switch to make a connection. Well, you reckon it needs a little grease on it or something? No, it just needs, it's just wore out. It's just wore out. But it's still got yeah, a lot of... Yeah, that old boy had a rough time. He bent the dang toolbox. Yeah, this one right here is a lot beat up, more beat up than that one over there is. Y'all took better care of that one. Yeah. Well, that one I've been through the battle hack on those. Cause Roy, he he was rough on the boy. He used to they they make plant beds in the woods, and you had to get in there and pull up the bushes and the trees and yeah. And that's where he broke that draw bar. Yeah. He run that tractor so hard and snatched his heart and broke the draw bar. Yeah. That's getting bad, because that draw bar is made strong. Yeah. And see the head on it? See when he redid the head on it? See that thing looks brand new and you're about to see repaint. He put a, a coating on the outside of it to yeah. keep it from rusting. Oh, well, but that all gone. He did a good job with that head, though. Down there at uh, Furthest Machine Shop down there in Smithfield. Yeah, they did a good job on that head. No, that's a nice tractor right there. Ned, this has got something that one over there don't have. Got bolts in this thing right here. Yeah. That one over there don't have that. Yeah, that one over there set up a little different. Yeah, but it, it'll work. You can put that saddle on it and put your plow on it. We had to plow on it that one time. I ought to put the two bottom plow on it and try to plow something with it. You ought to. It'd probably do it. Probably would. Be no. better with that rebuilt motor in it. It ought to. Yeah. Well, he's the one to rebuild it, though. That's, that's what makes it good. Yeah. I guess you can say that. Hey, <laughs> 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 oh, Lordy. He put the special touch on it. Yeah. yeah I put something on it. Something. <laughs> <laughs> put the touch on it for about, about almost a year. About a year, yeah. Well, no. It's like a hobby. You, you work on it a little. Get angry with it a little. <laughs> then leave it. Uh, you yeah. come back later yeah. on. Get angry Sand again. Little. Yeah. <laughs> what is that bolt right there for? That's to hold the saddle on. Yeah, my bear's got one too. Yeah, yeah, you slide the saddle on the outside of that and then turn that tight. They just look a little different. See, it's got a different, it's got a whole different bar under there than that one does. It's, it's well, has it, did you have that saddle with this one? Yeah, I got the saddle with it. Oh. And I got the plow with this. That's one. It's only got one uh, point on it, though. It's got all the cultivators to it, too. Got all the cultivators, and I got some, uh, I got a blade, too, that I didn't, that I didn't have that one. I think that blade's homemade. Well, you know what? I was talking about the work boy. Though. He yeah. out the other day and brought me my dinner. Oh, Lord. Mr. Stone. Mm-hmm. Called that Stone uh, Realty Company. Yeah. And we got to talking there, and he was talking about it. And uh, I was telling him you were interested in farm business. I was telling him about these tractors and stuff. And he said, well, right now the farming business is growing. Really? Yeah, I'm me. surprised. I figured yeah. it's going downhill. That's what I told him. I said, farming business is gone. He said, no, it ain't. It's coming back. He said, uh, me and you remember $2 and a quarter a bushel for corn. Mm-hmm. Did you know how much it is now? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for a bushel of corn. That's a lots of money for corn. And yeah, it yeah. is. This could make my corn flakes go up. And <laughs> yeah. Corn well, bread. And corn's going up because that ethanol fuel they keep making. Because they uh, make it out of that corn. Hit the, and well, that's right. And they, they got such a demand for it. Then the farmers could make more. 
Yeah. And I thought, well, hey, Bob, we got a tractor around here. We maybe we could plant some corn. Yeah. <laughs> At $20 a bushel? Yeah. I'll help you plant it, David. All right. <laughs> you can take one tractor, I'll take the other. All right. I'll put the hopper on one, and you can get the uh, cultivators on the other one. All right. <laughs> yeah. But at twenty dollars a bushel, if you if what they what they say is a good uh, average on, on corn on an acre, I think it's hundred dollar hundred bushels or something. Uh, I don't know. But I don't if either. you made a hundred bushels to the acre, throw the fertilizer to it, and made a hundred bushels to the acre, that'd be what two thousand dollars an acre. Yeah, near about, and that's something just to play around with. Yeah, that's an acre ain't nothing. We ought to do it. That's ought to. A, that's a good hobby, ain't it? Yeah, I know. Yeah, we ought to this summer. Well, come planting season anyway. Yeah. Because it ain't but March right now, so. But the only yeah. thing is, I don't know, we just mess around here, you couldn't find all the pieces to the Joanna Hopper and all that mess. Yeah. We might could, I don't know. There's a bunch of loose pieces up under there. And you wouldn't have to plant but about once or twice. And then get somebody with a combine to, to get it up for you in, in you the get pump. the Bailey Brothers to do that well yeah they probably yeah they got a combine well for the only plant an acre we can do it well that's true because if he comes out here to combine on that acre he'll be done in two minutes yeah one swipe will do that near about yeah well he works that little field out there with uh with that tractor that two hundred thousand dollar tractor yeah and he I've got a disc on it wider from here at that oak tree out there anything he's got about I think it does about eight or eight or nine rows at a time. Yeah, yeah. And that disc he got behind it. It's one yeah. of them it's one of them uh one of them bat wing discs or whatever. Yeah. It the ones that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was studying about it the other day. You were talking about cutting down that cedar tree up there. If you want to you can cut it down. Oh, the one up there at the at the road. Yeah, and take when you go up there to cut it down, take the bush axe with you and cut them. It's growing up in little bushes and mess. Yeah. Around that and. There. About to run out of tape, it looks like. So. Oh, right. Yeah, about run out of tape here. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's terrible. I know it. I know it. <laughs> I think you need to rewind it. I ought to. <laughs> I reckon that'll be the end of the thing uh, here. All right.